She and Carlos will go back on that video once they go some shit, man. Rappers be tripping, bro. For real. Just because you get money, bro, and you fuck some, and you move, and you in another nigga city, just because you get money, bro, and you fuck some hoes from there, that do not mean you run that nigga city. That don't mean you run that city. That don't mean all them people bow to you, bro. People be tripped the fuck out. Rappers be capped the fuck out with that shit, bro. And that's how a lot of these niggas get hurt. Talking about the South Side situation to the Soldier Boy situation. We talking about the 100 shooters in Atlanta. Yeah, everybody in Atlanta up in arms trying to beat his ass and come after him with guns. This is the real dude, for real. You have to show respect to get respect. <clears throat> and that's another thing, too. You niggas got to... It's a difference between respect and pull. Okay? Pull, it means you could get some niggas to do some real nigga shit on your behalf because they know how solid you are and they're there to do it for you because you got that type of influence. They know the type of man you are. They know the type of foundation you've laid in that city. They know the type of work you didn't really put in. They know the type of work you would put in if you had to. Now, them type of niggas with money, bro, are got respect and pull. There's a difference. Uh, Like, shout out to, I think it was uh OMG Moon, bro. Y'all y'all go over there to OMG Moon, bro. That's why I seen the video. I don't know if that's the dude name that made the video. But he said something about the Miami shit with with Southside. He was like, look, bro. Like, not even that. Just, all right, out here, bro. Um, Slim Thug, Paul Wall. They got respect in Texas, bro. They're rappers from Texas, and they done a lot of music. It's a difference from pool. I don't know no real street niggas just down and just do some shit for them. And that's not trying to call them out, bro. Because they're men. They ain't worried about that kind of shit. I'm not, I told you, I'm a man, bro. I'm a man. I'm not a street nigga. I'm not a gangster, bro. I'm just a man. I try to give information because I know there's a lot of young people that watch my videos, bro. They can learn a little something. A lot of older people, I'm not even old. I'm in my mid-20s, but a lot of niggas in their mid-20s stuck in their motherfucking ways already like old people. And they feel like, hey, I'm going to go out like this. And you can change, bro. We, we're we very young, bro. We have a lot of life ahead of us if we choose to live it. If we choose to, like the book of Ecclesiastes tell us, if we choose to not rush our death. You know what I'm saying? Believe it. Isn't it? Forgive me, don't quote me on that. I don't want to say the, the wrong book, but I know it's in the scripture. I don't know if that's the, that might be the wrong book. You can rush your death. You can, but and you can, you can pace. You know what I'm saying? And live a long life, and live fruitful, bro. Have children, watch them grow. Have grandchildren, watch them grow. If you do, you know what I'm saying? If you do what's right, if you move in the spirit, dude. If you really try to practice humbleness and let me get them some damn dog food. If you try to practice, um. You know, humbleness, kindness, bro. Um, of course, you're going to get angry. You're a human being. You're going to have your moments of weakness and stuff like that. But for the most part, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But all this tough guy shit and... It's just, that shit tripped the fuck out, man. I'm getting tough. That shit just rushing your shit, bro. It really is. I ain't doing nothing but rushing and shit. Come on, you got niggas like Pooh Shiesty. And this the whole thing, bro. That was a contradiction. You can't get on it. And I, and I said this on my TikTok, bro. Carlos DeMar Freeman. Freema. Y'all don't have the end. That's my TikTok, bro. Y'all get over there on TikTok. But they... Well, never mind. They took the sign off. It was my first TikTok video. You can't get on the internet and tell niggas to get off the internet. What you is, you just don't address shit on the internet at all. You just handle it in person, bro. And we don't have to know it. See, this is the whole thing, bro. Real gangsters don't need... You know how many real mobsters we don't know? They ain't gonna never do a Vlad TV interview, bro, ever. They don't give a fuck. It's real gangsters, Crips. They done real gang... And they get money still. They'll never, ever, ever do an interview. They don't ever want to be famous, bro. They don't want to be known. It was never about being known. It was about getting some money because they couldn't get it legally. So getting some real money, they had to do it illegally and taking care of their people. It was never about being known. It was never about being a rapper. It was never about being a goddamn commentator. It was never about being a motherfucking uh, Vlad TV guest. It was never about being a fucking superstar uh, and uh, giving your fucking take on mafia games and shit. All this fake ass shit. These niggas ain't real gangsters, bro. It was no, you know what I'm saying? You got these, it, to the rap niggas that's doing it. Okay, I mean, you got some, like, uh, what's that nigga name? Um, and I don't even know about uh, BG Knockout and Trey, but I don't even know how legit they are, but you know what I'm saying? You got some, I don't know. But niggas want to be too famous, man. 
Sometimes, sometimes niggas just get an opinion. It's, it's niggas I respect. Like the real niggas I respect. Like all right, like I'll give you a perfect example. Cause a nigga, he's not a gangster. He literally so like uh, Freeway Ricky Ross, the real Freeway Ricky Ross. He do his podcast and shit. I, cause he give game and shit. But a lot of these motherfucking these mo- the Italian monsters, them niggas ain't giving game. These niggas bragging about how many people they ain't killed and all that bullshit. To the motherfuckers that's giving game, hey. To the motherfuckers that's on there bragging doing that bullshit, like these rap, like uh, what like this. Like I said, rappers. It's a whole lot of rappers, bro. Um, the only one that had his story seem legit. It don't, it don't mean it's real. Is Lil Baby. You had Lil Baby come out. Well, I think you had P come out and say he been on Lil Baby, been, Lil Baby been getting street money and shit like that. He told him, hey, be a rapper, get get this money like this way. Okay. But a lot of these niggas portraying like this damn super murder. I'm the biggest killer. Do you know 